All right, good morning. I'm going to show you some uh, tricks that uh, Lil Maze has learned over the last four weeks. I don't know if you can see her or not, but she's right down there in the uh, left corner of the screen sitting on the bed. Uh, that's where we actually do place and stay. But before I get into her training, I just wanted to show you a couple of the hand commands, uh, just give you some important information you're going to want to know. First of all, she was trained uh, with positive reinforcement training only. So we reinfor reinforce the behavior uh, that we asked for by giving her a treat. So that was her reward and indicated to her um, that we wanted her to perform that certain thing um, and she would get a treat um, in return for it. So obviously, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you get a reward for it, um, you're gonna keep doing it. So that's kind of how it works. Uh, we also use the uh, marker word good. Um, so the second she sits, for example, I say good, and that indicates to her brain that a treat is coming and that exact moment I said good is what I was asking her to do um, and it's going to get her reward. So for sit, it's very easy. Uh, you just keep your hand to the side of your body here and you bring your palm up. So palm is facing up. All right, think of it like you are pulling the puppy up. So that's simply sit. And that is um, just the hand command. You don't have to say sit with it. Down is pointing to the ground. You usually have to point right before her and bring your finger to the ground and she will down. So again, you don't have to say down while you do this. These are hand commands. Same with the uh, touch. Oftentimes I actually say touch when I bring the uh, palm of my hand to the side of her body. She then will touch the palm of my hand with her nose. I say good, there's that marker word. She gets the treat. You can do it on the other side of her body too with the other hand if you want to. You say good and uh, she gets the treat. <laughs> um, I'm always uh, ready to go when I'm training. I have, I'm preloaded is what they call it, which means you know 10 probably little tiny treats in one hand and I'm working with the other, meaning putting out the uh, hand commands with the other hand. Um, so it's sit, she sits, I treat, down, she downs, I treat. So I'm ready to go. And then when I run out, I just take a little break, run over to the countertop and uh, you know get another handful. Um, and we work from there. So um, now that's basically it for hand commands. Um, other than leave it, uh, she knows leave it without really using a hand command, but sometimes, uh, you know, it's a real enticing treat. It's hard uh, for puppies to not just go after it. You can block the treat by putting your hand in between um, and remind her again to leave it. You also cover the treat with your hand as well, but she's gotten past that point in the training that's how we start training it and then the moment that they break away from it then we can uh, give them a treat indicates to back away from the treat and to leave it uh, but you shouldn't really see much of that in her video but if you need that tool uh, that's how you you use it all right here we go all right so this here is just an exercise pen set up with a door you can buy these on amazon or you know pet store for much more expensive if you want to um, oftentimes with May is actually trained in this small area because she's easily distracted by things. Some puppies are just that way. Um, so we're just more successful and can put in a little more time uh, with the door shut and both of us in there. So she just pays closer attention during that. Right now she's uh, chewing on a uh, beef cheek. It's not rawhide though, it looks like rawhide. So I probably won't train in here with her today. I'll come out into our living space. But I just want you to see what her setup is. She's used to uh, being in this as well with a couple of pee pads during the day. Um, if I'm, say, cooking or I have to run an errand for an hour or two, that sort of thing. So she's perfectly content in this area. She actually went in on her own um, without me asking her to. So she, you know, she knows I'm busy and doing something else. So she's learned to go entertain herself and she really likes that new bone anyway. As you can see, I have wood floors. And then this here is actually not wood. <laughs> It's just your linoleum that we lay down. Also a really handy thing to have when you have a puppy. Uh, you can get it at you know, Home Depot, have them cut you a small piece just to get through the puppy stage. It's better if she misses the pee pad, but she goes on that than ruin your floor. So we use these over and over again. This here is a snoozer cozy cave. She loves to get in here, um, you know, cozy up and uh, sleep. This is also the place that we use for uh, place. I put her in place here, and then um, I walk away and uh, tell her to stay. 
So uh, when she stays, you know, it's usually from this place. Um, we're only four weeks of training in, so we would start, you know, training her to stay from different locations of the home uh, as she is ready and ages, but we only have so much time here. So you're gonna wanna find a bed similar to this and uh, start here and then move forward, uh, build on it basically. All right, so that's all you really need to know as far as how our setup goes for training. All right, so here you can see I have Maze's breakfast, also training treats uh, portioned out for the morning. This is what she's gonna eat. This is just straight up cooked steak. Uh, Maze is not the kind of girl that's gonna work for dry kibble or something of not high value. So prepare yourself uh, to use lunch meat, hot dogs, steak. If she likes chicken, I've done that before. Um, something stinky and delicious and extremely high value. So treats off the rack of the uh, you know pet store isn't necessarily going to cut it for her. All right. So if you're not feeling like you're um, you know getting any further or she's not uh, reacting to you necessarily, it probably has something to do with your treats. All right. So here we go. <laughs> Maze, come. Good girl. hand command for sit. Good. Get some steak around your nose there. There we go. Good. 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 And we're going to go for the down. I always put her in the sit before the down, so... I just point right in front of her. Good. Second she does it, you say good and give her the treat. Good. Good. Place. Do it again. Place. There you go. She ain't gonna run and start to get on that bed. All right, I forgot the uh, crate, so I'm gonna break a sec and go grab the crate. And ta-da, there's the crate. <laughs> Maze already knows the drill, so when I put that crate down, I think she pretty much knows what I'm gonna ask of her. Uh, so she's already going in thinking, I'm gonna get a treat without her even telling me to. So I can get her to come out by telling her to touch. Good. And then we can start from there. Then kennel. Good. She goes in, turns around, gets the treat. Door's kind of closing on you, huh? All right. Kennel. Good girl. And again, kennel. Good girl. All right, we'll tell her to sit. Over here, baby. Sit. Good girl. So that's just the verbal. Obviously, it's just sit. Knees, knees. Sit. Good girl. All right, now here, from Hayes has been a challenge for the uh, verbal down. We have not quite gotten there. So it's going to be something you're just going to have to keep doing over and over again until it clicks. Uh, so like I said, remember, she's easily distracted. I don't know if you can see her now in the corner with the cat there. Um, but we usually do this training in the X pen. That is where you'll be more successful if you do her training. Um, there you go. Come here. Sit down. down. So as you can see, she was thinking about it, but she didn't quite do it. Um, and we just haven't gotten there. Um, and you know, some of them just only learn so fast. 
So you'll do it basically the same way I just did it. That's how you get to the next step. You give them a minute to, you know, allow the brain to think and then basically guess um, what it is that you want. And one day, probably here really soon, if I had it for another week, I think it would click. So you'll just down as you wait. Um, and you'll mark that and just say good and give her the treat right away. And then you'll build on that. So then you can, it will happen so quickly um, in one day and then she'll just be doing it over and over again. So, you know, I guess I apologize. We didn't quite get there as far as the verbal down goes, but what can you do? You can only push the puppy so far um, and also not make the situation too stressful for them either. It's supposed to stay fun. <laughs> Mace, come. Good girl. Sit. Gal. Down. Good. So that's what you'll do. Just keep reinforcing that down and then wait, you know, a few seconds, wait a little bit longer. I could tell in her eyes, they start shifting and uh, she's getting distracted. So if I didn't say down and put her in a down, she was just gonna run off and I wouldn't have gotten anything out of that moment. Um, so that's that. I'll show you the uh, leave it now, but I've got to reload my treats. Here, Mace. Mace, come here. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Good girl. She knows this game. Leave it. It's too easy. Good girl. One closer. Leave it. Good girl. So congratulations to little Maze. We always hang out after a training session, whether it's a little game of tug or just snuggles. Um, and that's what we're doing now. She's a fabulous pup. She's perfectly content in life. Uh, she travels so well. Uh, she can travel in her car seat in the car. It's a snoozer car seat for just hours and be perfectly happy there. <laughs> She's loving and sweet, aren't you, Maze? Yes, I'm talking about you. And she walks on a leash really well, too. It's loose leash walking, um, and she does a great job uh, with that. It does take a little encouragement sometimes, but uh, not too much. Um, we usually go for a walk, pick her up um, for a little ways, and then walk for a little ways on and off like that. All right, so I really hope you're pleased with her um, as I am. She's just a lovely little gal.